So this question was posted by BK. Again, a question on time and work. So read this question, try to solve it and give me the answer. Again, this is a very good question. Uh, Anna, Ben and Senna are friends. Anna and Ben are twins. Ben, uh, ben takes two days more than Sen or Senna. Okay. B takes two days more than C to complete the work. If A started the work and three days later B joins, the, joins him, then the work gets completed in three more days. Working together, A, B and C can complete thrice the original work in six days. In how many days can B complete twice the original work with double the efficiency of working, working alone? What is given? Anna, Ben and okay, A, B and C are friends. Now, let me assume that A will do the work in A days. Okay, B will do the work alone. If B is working alone, B will uh, finish the work in B days. And if C is working alone, C will do the work in C days. I am just assuming that A, B and C, they will finish the work respectively in A, B and C days if they are working alone. So, what is the work done by A in one day? 1 by A. What is the work done by B in one day? 1 by B. And what is the work done by C in one day? 1 by C. Now, Ben takes 2 days more than C to complete the work. Okay. So, and it is, okay, let us leave that for now. Next it says, if Anne started the work and 3 days later Ben is joining him, the work gets completed in 3 days more. So, basically, if Anne is working for 3 days and then again for 3 days Anne and Ben are together working, the work is completed in, work is completed or Totally in six days now the work is completed. Out of the six days, right, A has worked for all the six days. So, A has worked for all the six days and B has worked only for three days. When this is happening, the total work is completed. Or I can say work done by A in six days plus work done by B for three days. Put together, that will be the total work. Okay, A first worked alone for 3 days, then A worked for 3 days with B. So, that is how I am writing this equation. 6 by A plus 3 by B is equal to 1. And then what are they saying? Working together, and Ben and Sen can complete thrice the original work in 6 days. So, working together means in 1 day, how much work will they complete? 1 by A plus 1 by B plus 1 by C. Working together, they will complete thrice the original work in 6 days. So, thrice the original work is completed in 6 days means the work that we are looking for, correct, that will actually be completed in 2 days or in 1 day they will finish half of the work. In 1 day they will finish half of the work, in 2 days they will finish the full work or in 6 days they will finish thrice the actual work that we are looking for or I can just say 1 by A plus 1 by B plus 1 by C is equal to 1 by so, these are the two equations that I have. Now, what is the question? I have to find out number of days B will take to finish the work. Now, here there was one more information that is given. It says that Ben takes two days more than sent to complete the work. Or I can say, see Ben is taking two days more than sent to complete the work. Or I can say Sen is taking two days less than Ben. Right? Or see, B is equal to C plus 2 or I can say C is equal to B minus 2. Correct? See, any one, you have to basically bring it to any one variable so that you are able to solve the equations. So, uh, what am I doing here? I am taking here that Sen is able to do the work 2 days before B. B is taking B days means Sen will finish the work in B minus 2 days. So, what are the equations that I have now? I have 6 by A plus 3 by B is equal to 1 or uh, and I have here put it uh, put it in terms of B and then try because anyway I have to find out B now so that's why I am converting it in terms of B 1 by A plus 1 by B plus 1 by B minus 2 that is equal to 1 by 2. Now here uh, what is the equation that I have solve for these two you will get the answer that's all see here you can take this out right you can take it as 3 into uh, this will be 2 by A plus 1 by B that is equal to 1 or 2 by A plus 1 by B which will be equal to 1 by 3 or I can say uh, 2 by A which is equal to see I am basically trying to bring everything into in terms of one variable you can do it anyway 1 by 3 minus uh, 1 by B or I can say 1 by A what is 1 by A in that case 1 by A will be 
1 by 6 minus 1 by 2b. I am just making that 2 by a into 1 by a, right, by, by bringing that 2 down. So, put this in terms of uh, b here and then solve, that is all. So, you will have here 1 by 6 minus 1 by 2b plus 1 by b plus 1 by b minus 2 is equal to 1 by 2. Solve here for b. Um, here this will become 1 by 2b, correct? This will become 1 by 2b and uh, so you will have 1 by 2b plus 1 by b minus 2 which will be equal to take this to the other side 1 by 3. Solve here. Take the LCM, solve. What will be the value of b that you get? Give me the answer. I will just try it out here or I can say 2b squared minus 13b plus 6 is equal to 0. So, product of two numbers is uh, 12, sum is 13 and the two numbers that we are looking for the roots has to be 12 and 1 by 2 by 2. So, what could be the number of days? See, I have to find out the value of b. So, when I am so I am getting a quadratic equation here. Uh, so, when I solve the quadratic equation, I get b as either 6 or 1 by 2. So, obviously it has to be 6. B cannot finish the work in half days, correct? So, that cannot be the right answer option because uh, obviously you know at least B is taking 3 days. He is working with A to help A to finish the work. So, the answer cannot be half. So, the answer has to be 6. So, what is what do we get here on solving this? We get B is equal to 6 or I can say B can complete the work in 6 days if he is working alone. Now, what is the question? In how many days can B complete twice the original work with double the efficiency? So, if B's efficiency is doubled, B can finish the actual work in 3 days. Now, B has to finish twice the original work. So, again, how many days will B take to finish twice the original work with double efficiency? 6 days. So, what should be your answer here? Your answer here will be 6 days. This is the answer that we are looking for. Okay. See, I hope it is clear. This part is a bit calculative. There are some calculations involved here, but based on what is given, this is how we go about solving the question. How, how do we do it? See, I know 6 by A plus 3 by B is 1. Then I know 1 by A plus 1 by B plus 1 by C is 1 by 2. And I also know the relationship between C and B. So, I try to express everything in terms of B and solve for B. So, that is what I have done. And I get the answer as 6 days. Yes.